Hello there everybody. This is a video of a question I saw on the uh, Minecraft, the custom NPCs forums. Uh, I thought it was kind of neat, the idea of it, uh, and more importantly it was I thought it would be very simple to do. Um, the question was about uh, a zombie you have a zombie guy that when he kills somebody, they uh, they turn into the killer, or they uh, then they uh, become the killer's faction. So, what I did here, this this guy is is a bad faction I made, and this guy these guys are in the good faction. Okay, and um, it's not really a fair fight. These guys have ten health, and this guy over here has like a hundred, I believe. Um, so what happens if I open this up? He's going to attack these guys and uh, turn them into actually short, shorter green copies of themselves in the bad faction. Okay, so let's just let it roll here. And I slowed down the speed, the walking speeds of these guys a little bit, or it's not going to go crazy. So see the little, there's two little green copies there, and the fight is over. Now then, there are only three, and there should be five um, zombies, because there were five guys over here. Now, the reason why, <laughs> the reason why that is, uh, because these zombies don't, when they kill somebody, they don't, th their victims don't turn into, uh, don't turn into zombies. So, what I thought I'd do then is to um, have all these guys, let's close this up here, have these guys' victims turn into zombies. Um, so all I would have to do is p put the same script in these guys um, as uh, the uh, war warness over there has. But when I did that, I actually made a little mistake, and it was it was kind of interesting little mistake. Let me uh, just show you what. Um, goes on, then I'll explain it. Um, this guy is kind of like the template of the guys that are, are uh, the zombies that are spawned, I guess you would say. So, so the mistake I made was that I, when I was testing this, they were all the good faction. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so, when this guy kills them, they'll turn into zombies. But when those zombies are killed, or when those zombies kill one of these guys, they'll turn into a good guy. Okay. I think that's what happened. So it kind of like goes, we'll go back and forth here. And they'll they'll have a purplish shade, and they'll they'll go. Uh, say this guy. Okay, they still won. Okay. Sometimes it goes back and forth for a while here. You go back. Now I'm just pasting these guys in from a schematic file from uh, World Edit, so it uh, works pretty good that way. So we can set them up again. I might have to lower this guy's attack or something. Okay, yeah, there's a purple guy there. 
zombies are good zombies. Okay. Then. We will try that one more time. Well, let me check. Uh, let me check to see what this guy's attack is, because that's the default attack, really. Um, right, okay. We'll try this one last time here, and then I'll show you. Okay, there we go. Now we've got good zombies here. Yeah, but when he attacks them, they'll turn into bad zombies. Actually, he should have a health bar. A boss bar there. I'm not sure why he doesn't. Because he can get killed. The leader. And then people will turn into him. Well, that guy doesn't, they're not really set to, uh, I guess, defend enemy factions. They're just set to retaliate. Okay. okay. Well, see, that time the good guys won. But this guy actually will respawn. See, this guy is a. This guy got zombied by the good faction. Now he will respawn, actually. But, uh, everybody else is set to not respond. So, there he is. Now, if he was looking in there, he would. Oops. Have to stop using the wand for cooking up. Well, it, this is an amazingly simple um, script here. Uh, if you look at it here, here we go. Um, this is what I'm using for the most part. Um, uh, I'm just uh, spawning using the world spawn to spawn an uh, NPC, Zombie. -E. Uh, I use a very unique name because I don't want it to get confused when I change him. Um, and I'm using the entity data command here. And the main reason I'm using that is because um, I couldn't find out how to change the skin color in uh, scripting. So I'm using the powerful Minecraft command uh, entity data, which can be a little dangerous sometimes, but uh, in this, in for this it's not. But you could sometimes change things you don't want to change, and uh, so you got to watch it with that. Um, so, basically, also what happens is when he kills somebody, uh, he spawns um, this guy. Um, looks looks for that guy, changes the skin to what the target skin was the target of what he killed was right there and then changes the color, the size, the faction and then the, the name to zombie bad um, so I did that and then um, I also then I changed it to this which is the same thing it's longer but it's really not that much more complicated um, I just find a few variables up here and in this one, I use mostly scripting. Okay, so um, this one, I'm getting the 
what's in the right hand of the attacker and I'll put it in the into the uh, zombie so you can either if you use NPC that's the attacker and then target is the killed <laughs> so that's that's what I'm doing it's it's the same thing I spawn it but then I search here instead of using the entity data s search where I go entity entity name zombie I have to make a loop by searching for surrounding entities uh, for the name zombie and then I make these changes so set right hand uh, set texture uh, set size set faction things like that um, and then I still use the entity data command to change the, the name and the skin color because I can't find a skin color but but this is really the same as just these few lines right here um, and that was this I simplified both of those down from that um, so let me see if we put this in there uh, which we can do very simply if I can get out this door Hopefully they won't take it out on the street here. Um, so I don't even need that in there anymore. I was numbering the zombies, and I thought they needed a, a unique name when they were killed after they were killed, but they don't really. Um, so I can just put that in there, hopefully, and save him. Now you don't really need this guy here, you can just save him and then delete him if you want, but I just have him there because um, if I want to uh, modify him, he's kind of like the default um, stats over there, so that's what he does. Uh, so you could have him turn into the skin of the killer instead of having um, skin target uh, you could have NPC skin that way it would turn into the, the boss's skin it would take on then they would all basically look like the boss but um, so let's see uh, <laughs> So, let's see if this works. What, what's supposed to happen is, is when this guy kills somebody, he's, he, he will basically give them a sword. Then. Yeah, there we go. See? Whoa, that was quick. So, see, now they all have swords like, like the boss. Um, That's what that does. So um, it's, that's that's kind of neat. I like the the way they uh, go back and forth sometimes with with, with the, if you make them or they uh, when they kill somebody they they go to the good faction. It goes back and forth like that. Um, so that's that explains everything. I hope. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments there and I'll try to get to it.